I just thought I'd share a few minutes of video that I was able to take during Pioneer Day 2018. The Lincoln County Historical Society puts it on every November and a lot of people dress up and dedicate a lot of time to uh, show what it was like in the old days from the sawmill, grist mill, uh, cotton gin. I got some video. I didn't want to uh, intrude on anybody in the crowd with the video camera, but uh, where I could, I took video. My dad was out there doing the, uh, the cane syrup, showing how it's pressed out, cook off the water, and I'll make, this, make the cane syrup. So he was out there demonstrating that, and we just had a good time, and thought I'd just share some of the day with you. I brought my black powder rifle with me today. If your daddy black powder hunts, he probably uses one real similar to this, except his has got a nipple on it that you put a little Right now, in. over by the sawmill, John Thomas is doing a demonstration of a muzzle loading rifle. He's going to be firing it in a moment, so you will certainly hear it, and you might want to go over and watch it. So, the way it works is you put powder in the pan here. That's a little suppression right here. It's got what they call a touch hole in the side of the barrel, and you close the prison right here, and you don't barrel that powder down the barrel, and you would put a 50 caliber musket ball on it, and you would take this ramrod, and you would shove it all the way down. And then, you would pull the cock all the way back, you would pull the trigger, it's going to go forward, get the prison, take a spark, Open it up, light the powder in the pan, it's going to light the powder in the barrel through the touch hole, and it's going to go boom. Now let me tell you a little bit about my gun. If you've been here living in the state of Georgia very many years, you've probably got an ancestor that's kin to a Revolutionary War soldier. We have over 68 counties in our state named after Revolutionary War heroes. Lincoln County was not named after Abraham Lincoln. It was named after Benjamin Lincoln. He was a general in the Revolutionary War. Now this gun was made by a gunsmith in Virginia. He studied it at Williamsburg. This gun has got the same curly maple wood that they would have put on their guns in the 1740s. It's not a Kentucky long rifle, it's an American long rifle. They started making these before Kentucky was a state. They do have a Kentucky long rifle, but it come after this gun, okay? The only two differences is I have a hammer stall, which is a little piece of leather that goes on my prison here so that I don't make a spark when I don't want to. And it's got a flash guard here on the side because I shoot in line with other guys and I don't want it to flash them. Now, are there any questions about the gun? Any 
any questions? Okay, I can shoot this gun three times during the Revolutionary War period. Uh, I cannot do that, but I depended on this gun during the Revolutionary War period for my protection and for my food. Okay? Now, those of y'all that live around here, to tell you a little bit more about your history, this is called the Seated Lands. And the reason they call the Seated Lands is the Indians in this territory got to owe in the merchants at the trading post in Augusta during the Revolutionary War uh, period. There was no Lincoln, no Elberton, uh, Georgia, no Washington, Georgia. This was all back country. And so they got to owe in a bill. Uh, so they ceded these lands to the colony of Georgia. Okay? Now me and Miss Pat, that's my wife, she's over here selling raffle tickets. Don't y'all forget to get y'all raffle tickets. We're raffling off a quilt and a gun, and we're having a 50-50 raffle. And what that is, is if we sell $200 worth and we draw your name, you're going to get a $100 bill. Okay? Any questions about my guns? Any questions? Huh? I really don't know what it weighs. I've never weighed it. Uh, the way I got it done, I went to uh, the Battle of the Hood. I'm in mean, the Sons of the American Revolution. They have a battle up there so often. There at uh, Yorktown, and they reenacted. And they had a bunch of settlers up there. And my wife made a mistake of telling me I had one too many guns already. <laughs> so now I guess I've got two too many guns already. <laughs> so that's how I ended up with it. Another thing about the long rifle that a lot of people see on TV is they think it was way over their head. Most of the time, if you had one made for yourself, it was a couple of inches under your chin because you loaded here on the bucket. Okay. For those of you that like old sayings, this is the lock on the gun, this is the stock on the gun, and this is the barrel. And if I buy something, I buy it lock, stock, and barrel. I buy, buy the whole thing. Now, if you've got a hearing aid on, you might want to take it out, or you might want to turn it down, because it is real loud. Now, when I shoot, you watch for fire coming out right here, and fire coming out of the end of the barrel. I'm going to walk right down this way a little bit where I won't be too close. This is sort of a public service announcement. We have a lost key. I think it might be to a Dodge. I have it in my hand, so if you've lost the key and can uh, convince me that it's yours, I might actually give it back to you. Okay, I am the person with the straw hat that looks like a horse took a big bite out of it. So uh, come see me if you've lost a key. Are y'all ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming to the park today. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. And we still got some festivities going on all around. Enjoy y'all. Cider. Oh, replicator. How they were turned down. Make some axe handles. How they're demonstrating the cotton gin today. Yeah. 
It's neat how to keep the old press running. Take the cane and run it through and actually press it. And uh, they used to use mules to do it with. For, for today's demonstration, they just used the lawnmower and uh, run it around and pressed out the cane for the demonstration today. <laughs> Cooking some syrup. Cooking some cane syrup. Yeah, sorry I didn't get better video and pictures of the tractors. They were really nice antique tractors out there. Got caught up at the end and didn't get back to uh, video on them. But uh, they're really neat. Maybe we'll catch them next time.